Hi guys, welcome to another little trick presentation using one of these, a padlock. Now you can hand this out to the audience, pass it around, they can dial in any combination to see if they can crack the code, the combination for this padlock. They won't be able to. So how do you open a lock? Now, some people would employ 007, James Bond, to get a little hair clip and, and pick the lock. Uh, crooks would probably use brute force with a sledgehammer, but we're gonna use mind over matter. We're gonna use a random array of numbers chosen by you. We'll use a deck of cards, that way I can't influence the numbers that you choose, because some people may think that I'm planting numbers in your head but if we use a deck of cards you can choose from the uh, pack some random cards and they will act as our combination what we we'll do is if I spread the cards if you now just pick out four random cards so there's card number one now you could get four people from the audience to do this maybe hand the cards round, etc. There's number three and number four. So out of these cards, you've picked the one, two, three, four number combination. Now, if we take a look at the cards, they are just a regular deck of cards, 52 random cards. What I'll get you to do in a moment is to write your number on this card with the pen. Now, what happens if you choose a picture card? Well, if you happen to choose a picture card, then you can swap it for any number card. But if you take the pen, I'll just get you to write the number on here. In fact, if I give you the card, you're gonna write the number. There's your first, second, third, and fourth number cards chosen. Remember, you can choose another card if any of these happen to be a picture card. Okay. So, let's take a look at the first card you chose is a 7. And you can write that on the card. That's a 7. The second number is a 4. The third number is a 9. And the last is a five. So luckily no picture cards, but there it is there, seven, four, nine, five. Now you could have picked out these cards in any order. So for example, if you had a nine, five, four, seven, let's try this. If we put in a nine, five, four, and seven, it's not gonna open. What if we swap these two around? Four, five, nine, seven. Four, five, nine, seven. Again, you can't open this. But the order that you chose these random cards from the pack was seven, four, nine, five. You give this to the spectator, they then dial in seven, four, nine, five. There it is there. And there's the lock opened. And that is a magical way of opening a padlock. Now the trick you've just seen there is a very simplistic one. It uses just a regular lock. Now some of you out there may remember that five, seven years ago, there was quite a few of these special magical locks that had been pre-prepared. They were actually uh, fixed to open on a certain combination uh, for the magician. Now this is a totally unfaked lock. You can pick these up, in fact, this solid metal combination lock I picked up off of Amazon for about two bucks. So very cheap indeed. You don't need a gimmicked one, just a regular one will do. And the whole trick evolves around forcing four cards onto the spectator. 
Now this particular lock has been set to that combination, 7495. So I need to get those chosen by, by the spectators. Now there's a very simple switch that happens on here, and it's quite a common switch that I use, and uh, it works very well, but just bear in mind that if you're very good at uh, classic force or something like that, then you could actually get this combination via forcing in a different method. But the way that I do this is I stack the cards, and what I've got are the four cards that make up the combination. Seven, four, nine, and a five. So I've got the four cards that I require on there. Let's put them in the right order. Okay. On top of that, I put a blank card. Okay. Now, one thing I do is to shorten the length of this. That way it makes it easy to find it in the pack. Some people use a thicker card, a crimp, or anything like that. But I just put that card that they're going to write their combination on, on top. And in fact, I'll use this one. So that will start off blank. At the bottom, on the bottom of the pack, the pack is just a regular deck. There's no setup at all on this part. You'll notice I've got the Queen of Spades on the face. What I've done is I've taken another Queen of Spades from another pack, and I'm going to put that at the bottom. Now that's all you need. That's your stack on there. And I'm gonna place this at the bottom. And you're all set to go. Remember, when you spread the cards, don't spread the top part, because otherwise you'll reveal the cards here. So you can show the cards, turn them over, spread them, get the spectators to pull out any four cards. Once they've done that, you can gather up the cards, turn them over, you can even show them. Now, subconsciously, they're going to pick up on this picture card here, but you don't say anything about that. You introduce the blank card and you drop it on top. So the order is, is that you've got this blank card and there are four cards. I'm going to get a break above my blank card I've got at the bottom. If I just flip the cards, you'll see it naturally breaks there because of the shortcut card. And I hold a break. Now I'm going to exaggerate that for the camera, but that's really what's happening. Watch what happens. It's a great switch. I've used it in loads of other routines. You pick up the cards as you hand them the pen. As you hand them the pen, you push these in drop at the break and put all to the top. Now that would normally be blank. You can then say, write your number on here and you deal off the next four cards. Now everything looks consistent. They can see the queen. Of course, the four cards they've just chosen are here. There's the four cards and the blank that you just picked up off the table. It's a perfect switch. You can then spread over a cluster of cards, as you say, if any of those turn out to be picture cards, then you can pick any other number card. You turn these over, you finish with those. You can then turn up the cards, get them to write it down. You can then mix these up the lock will not open until you put that number in. It's as simple as that. 